Zed Kamirad? I have no idea where that's from. <laughs> so like two hours after I uploaded my previous video, some strange things started happening around the ogre's caves. Players acting kind of noobish on purpose. But I know scouts and lures and setups when I see them. I feel the ominous vibes right now. Better cook these tuna just in case that scuffle is about to go down. Shots fired. The mage casted a few fire blasts on me, but he didn't wait for ogres to de-aggro. Is he actually a noob? But he has 99 magic. But he forgot to teleblock. What's the 123 doing in that outfit? What's going on here? No, no, none of this is adding up. I feel like there's a storm of PKers about to run in and cause havoc. The 123 is playing innocent now. That's it. I'm out of here. Corsair is compromised. Too much heat over there. But I still need like 130 rubies for 89 smithing. My buddy suggested to give mine golems a try. So I'm gonna do an hour and see what the drops are like. According to the wiki, they have a 1 in 52 chance of dropping a ruby, which is the same as body golems. But these things are very easy to kill. Ended up only doing 30 minutes. So let's just double what's in the inventory. 4 rubies per hour. It's a tiny sample size, but it doesn't feel right not burying bones. And the animation length to wake them up is annoying. Not a fan. Everywhere I've gone tonight, this 123 has showed up. Obvious scout. He's one thread away from meeting the Cold Fingers 3 count. Just got 89 strength. My reward? Taking arrows to the face. This archer here isn't even a VKer. He was training on ogresses and then I guess he got tired of looking at me? Now we're fighting over territory like two cats. I don't really want to fight right now, but I have some spare tunas, so let's see what happens. Get him shamans. Darn, they don't want to. I'm not chasing him way over there. They'll reset my egg roll. Maybe he was just trying to scare me away to hog the ogresses for himself. The ranger came back five minutes later and didn't even bring food. Should have just chased him on danger. 85 hit points. Not really a milestone, but I feel slightly safer every HP level. Just need 105 more rubies. Oops, missed 90 strength. One more level to go till I'm out of here. Group Iron Man update just came out. I'm playing right after the update went live. So all the third party clients are in janky mode. Whoa computer, don't blow up. 91 strength, that's it. I'm done here. So all the loot is in my invo, except you can add like 10k myth arrows to it. That loot is from 70 attack, 77 strength, and 77 defense, to 75 attack, 80 defense, and 91 strength. Also add 71 to 74 prayer, 72 to almost 74 crafting, and 71 to 78 cooking, all from raw tuna. Gotta buy 100k errors and some earths to fire off all these chaos and death runes. Luckily, room packs never increase that much in price. 
I can just buy all of them. And I need the Skull Scepter for autocast Crumble Undead. I feel like an AFK Andy now. Alright, I deleted the wrong clip, so here's the wrong one. Just assume that I got the third piece. Final piece. That was about 25 minutes total for all pieces. Enchanting the scepter gives the same magic attack bonus as an elemental staff. All set. I'll take as many magic levels as possible, please. Wow, that looks like a lot of fun. Those fights probably take 25 minutes with Protect from Melee on. The importance of Nani 1's strength is that when Danger can wield a rune scimitar, he can hit 18s on defensive with power amulet. That combined with the accuracy boost of the sim should be a big XP per hour boost. I still need 30 rubies to reach 89 smithing. I'm gonna fire off all these chaos and death runes and see how many get dropped. Just spent an hour shooting crumble undeads on Ankus. Got 43.6k. Firebolts on hill giants are 39k. Ogresses are 36k. And cows are 34.8k. There's so many choices to use chaos runes on. I like it. Gives more monsters a niche option. And there doesn't seem to be a clear cut best option for chaos runes. Although Anku's was super fast XP, I'm just not happy with the drops they give. Too little of everything. Lava Maze Hills gives everything I want. Having a hill giant club would be cool too. Maybe I can KO someone with it. Worst case, Obor will drop noted rubies a couple times. Nice, 80 magic. Had to bank a few times, but worth the much better loot. All the new group Iron Man are collecting steel plate bodies and earth staves. I've seen like 30 people here over a couple days, and that's attracting PKers. It's not a good time to be here, but we do what we gotta do. Now I can finally show people properly how to escape in a real situation. Because this is normally one of my favorite spots, an awesome key farming spot for magic. But right now I'm getting kicked out by a couple measly level 77s. My pride is hurting, but I got nothing to fight back with. Hug the tree and look for an opening to log out, boys. That's it. Unless there's four or more people. Then you'll have to slash the web and take your chances running south. <laughs> These doughheads are completely clueless. They're not even snaring the Black Knights. See ya. Also a bad time to be at Bandit Camp, but I'm running low on pizzas. I'm digging the Skull Scepter. Not quite as much magic defense as a normal staff, but it gives a teleport without taking up inventory spaces. I bought chocolate bars too for energy potions later on. 124 anchovy pizzas, 676 rubies out of 700, 23 giant keys, let's do it. Just killed Obor 25 more times and got nothing. Not even showing the loot, zero rubies, just disappointment. Was close to a crafting level, had to finish it. Plus it's not a real danger dinger video without some cow murder. There's only one place worth considering training magic with death runes in my opinion. Ogresses. They have plenty of HP so you don't overshoot and lose potential XP. I've already done one trip and got 8 rubies and only used 2k casts. Last time I shot 2k casts here I got 0 rubies. Anyway, 15 left to get with 9k fire blasts. Sick of seeing ogresses yet? Yeah, welcome to free to play, dude. 83 magic. At this point, might as well get 85 for teleblock. 
just in case I have to end someone. I have to buy more rooms though. I have a lot of junk in my bank. I'm gonna make a bandit camp run. This stuff probably isn't even worth much, but I want to see how active it is because of group Iron Man. I like a nice clean bank, but also I think I'm gonna start buying more Addy arrows at once. Like maybe I should buy all 600 stock at once. Anything more than 100 feels like a big ripoff, but I have 13 mil coins, so what else is there to buy? Maybe chaos runes? Anyway, I've been playing for months and I've noticed there's hardly ever a convenient time to visit Lowe's in Varrock. I gotta do something to start collecting arrows faster. Someone else is selling junk to the shop. Not seeing any PKers though. By the way, you can teleport with the Skull Scepter in the wilderness, but you can't with the Chronicle. Whoa, this is a lot more money than I was expecting. Over 700k, sweet. Let's see how much all 600 Addy Arrows costs. 2021 and still no arrow packs. I've met other PvP World Hardcores, and they allow themselves to hop to buy arrows. I should have allowed that, but it's too late now. I already have 7k Addy Arrows, and my range is in the mid 70s. So 600 Addy Arrows cost 188k, caps at 480 GP each. Whoa. Well boys, I have all the rubies and natures required for 89 smithing. I want the rune sim bad. I accidentally elked my rune sword a few days ago, so there's no turning back now. The 10k superheats will get me to 85 magic too. I think you know what time it is. I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with whining siren.